So what exactly did Tulsi Gabbard do to get added to the terror watch list? It came the day after she criticized the Biden administration right here on The Angle. See, our foreign policy decisions are being made by unelected people in the military industrial complex who are profiting from us being in a constant state of war and the national security state that has more power to undermine our freedoms and liberties when we are in a state of war. Kamala Harris does not have the strength to stand up to the military industrial complex. Okay, that's wild. Joining me now, Tulsi Gabbard, former U.S. Congresswoman, Fox News contributor. Tulsi, now, you serve this country in uniform, even getting deployed to Iraq. Thank you for going, unlike Tim Walz. And now you're being surveilled. I mean, it's a form of surveillance or hassling and, and intrusion upon your freedom to move um, by the government. What what is this? I mean, I didn't believe it really when when I first heard about it. I said, "Oh, that can't be." But how does this make you feel, Laura? This is a clear act of political retaliation. There's no other way to put it. You laid out the sequence of events the very next day after my conversation with you on the air, warning the American people about how dangerous a Kamala Harris presidency would be. I was placed on this domestic terror watch list, which is called the Quiet Skies List under the Department of Homeland Security. The, the clear uh, pain and, and, and real visceral hurt that comes from this is, as you mentioned, like many Americans, I enlisted because of the terrorist attacks on 9-11, to go after the Islamist ter terrorists who attacked us on that day, and to now have my own government now turn around and put me on a domestic terror watch list. Uh, it, it, is, it, it hits to the core and, and is the ultimate sense of betrayal. But, but we look at why they are doing this. It has a chilling effect. It sends a warning both to me and to anyone else who even thinks about daring to criticize our own government, which is a guaranteed protected right under the First Amendment, <laughs> yeah. that, that we will be subject to a violation of our Fourth Amendment right to privacy uh, through this kind of, of surveillance. And that's that's the biggest stress that's been caused by this entire situation, Laura, is now forever. I will, for, I will always be looking over my shoulder wondering if and how our government in any of these different agencies is surveilling me, watching me. Are they reading now, my they text reading messages? Your, Are they reading, listening to say, my phone calls? Yeah, I, I was going to say yes, yes, and yes. That's what I would guess, at least. Now, in a letter from whistleblower attorney Tristan Levitt, um, he writes that the special mission coverage in Ms. Gabbard's case reportedly involves two explosive detection canine teams, one transportation security analyst in explosives, one plainclothes TSA supervisor, and three federal air marshals on every flight Ms. Gabbard boards. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm not laughing, Tulsi, because it's, I mean, this is literally like the Soviet Union, China today, North Korea, any totalitarian regime, but Donald Trump's a totalitarian, right? He's the dictator in waiting. Okay. Yeah, th this, this is just, uh, and this is what, what we know about, and we know about it because of these brave whistleblowers from the Air Marshal Service who are coming forward. What I'm questioning is what are the things that are happening uh, in our government that I don't know about? How long have they been surveilling me? This is just a recent occurrence. Uh, I would not be surprised to know that there are other government agencies who are also being weaponized against political opponents, those who dare to challenge this <laughs> regime, the Biden-Harris administration. And that, that's really what it comes down to and why they have to be stopped. Now, uh, they we have are to be guaranteed defunded. the no. right to yeah, life, they be liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I cannot defunded. be free. And you pointed to this. Yes, no. exactly. You, well, I cannot no, be get... free so long as my government is breathing down my neck and this, watching this, my every move. Well, we got to go, but we're going to be following this closely, uh, demanding that this be completely withdrawn and whoever is responsible for this decision, and there's one person who made the decision, should be fired immediately. But uh, this should never, ever happen in the United States of America. To anyone. Tulsi, no, to anybody. Thank but you. I, I think this is the tip of the iceberg, and I know Donald Trump uh, uh, is not surprised by any of this. Tulsi, thank you very much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.